Moifid Clark is cast as Galadriel in the upcoming Lord of the Rings series. This is somewhat old news. It was confirmed a few months ago, but this is exciting as it confirms a powerful character who played a prominent role in the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit films. So without further ado, here is what we can expect in reference to the Lady Galadriel in the upcoming prequel series. In the early Second Age, Galadriel and her partner Celeborn first travelled to Linden, an elf capital west of the Shire in Eriador. Linden is frequently used as an elven port to sail to the Grey Havens. They were a part of the ruling class in the elven realm of Linden under the Noldorian king Gilgalad. Gilgalad founded the realm in the first year of the Second Age, so I suppose that the kingdom will already be established by the time this series takes place. However, this is where I'm predicting we see Galadriel for the first time in the series. Here is where they conceived their daughter Celebrian, and in the year 750 of the Second Age, they established the realms of Eregion, also known as Holland, next to the dwarves in the Misty Mountains. In this series, we can expect to witness a prosperous allyship, including open trade with the dwarves of Khazad-dûm and the elves of Eregion. Now let's talk about the interesting plot points which this series will surely cover and the writers can have a lot of fun bringing these stories to the small screen which we can enjoy later this year. An immensely prominent figure that we will encounter in this series is Anatar, who is an elf whose name translates to the Lord of Gifts. Although the elf is a Maya in disguise, not just any Maya, he is the Dark Lord, Sauron. Befriending the elves of Eregion, Anatar earns their trust. However, Galadriel is weary of the elf, and rightfully so, as it turns out. We can definitely expect to see the mistrusting relationship between Sauron and Galadriel play out in the series. Around the year 1200 in the Second Age, Sauron revealed himself, albeit in secrecy, wearing the fairest form he could contrive in Eregion Sauron posed as an emissary of the Valar, sent by them to Middle-earth to provide aid to the elves. Sauron perceived at once that Gladriel would be his chief adversary, and he endeavoured to placate her. It's not clear whether she saw through the disguise, or whether she was just wearily untrusting of Anatar. One can assume that she didn't altogether know the true identity of Anatar. If she did, she permitted him to remain in it again, she almost certainly would have condemned or banished Sauron. However, this is up to the writers to demonstrate to the viewers. Hopefully, they do a good job. There was an elven brotherhood under Celebrimbor, known as the Gwyeth e Medain, which translates to people or the jewelsmiths. This happened in Eregion as a cabal. Galadriel and Celeborn were unaware of this secret society. Before long, Sauron had the Merdain under his control since their work reaped great profit in their craft. So great became Sauron's hold over the Merdain that at length he persuaded them to revolt against Galadriel and Celeborn in order to seize power in Eregion. This is when Galadriel left the realm for Lodian. This occurred around the year 1400 of the Second Age. Over the next century, the forging of the Rings of Power would occur. And boy, what an exciting story that will make. Moifid Clark sure does have huge shoes to fill in her role as Galadriel, and I can't wait to see the Cabal operating in secret within Holland, following Sauron and Celebrimbor. Once Celebrimbor at length discovered the existence of the One Ring, he revolted against Sauron and travelled to Lodin Land, now known as Lothlorien, to take counsel with Galadriel. Galadriel thus advises Celebrimbor that the three elven rings were to be hidden, dispersed, and never used, far from Holland where Sauron believed them to be. This is when she receives Nenya. I can almost guarantee you we will see this in fruition in the series. The tale doesn't end there. We will see Galadriel travel to Rivendell to seek Elrond. That is when Elrond will meet her daughter Celebrian and fall in love with her. This is all of course before the birth of their children, including Arwen, but all the lovey-dovey stuff will be covered in detail by the writers, I'm sure. They are the main plot points of Galadriel in the Second Age. I'm sure we will see a lot of it covered in the series. 
hope Murphy Clark does justice for the character. She sure does have tough shoes to fill following Kate Blanchett. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, be sure to follow me on social media as I am finally getting that all up and running. As always, my Middle Earth friends, hunt on there for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Lord of the Rings Theory. Namari. Embrace the power of the ring, or embrace your own destruction. Renewed shall be blades once broken, the crownless again shall be king.